What did you think of today, and how do you feel about, about tomorrow, just given the way the course is playing? Yeah, I mean, I played nice today, didn't make any mistakes, made some putts. You know, I wish I would have not three-putted 18, and that's what I'm going to think about. But, you know, it was a good day. We all played really well in the group, and uh, I'm looking forward to to the opportunity tomorrow. So many holes out here that you're, you're supposed to birdie, and you almost feel like you're um, giving shots away if you don't. And there's some holes, like, you know, even one or so that, that you're happy with, with four. How do you how do you balance how you uh, approach those holes and attack those holes? Uh, Mike Cowdy has been here plenty of times, and I'm relying on him. And our game plan, you know, we have we have a nice game plan of what holes we need to, you know, play conservatively, what holes we can attack, and then what holes, you know, we can just kind of plot around. And, you know, if you make a couple birdies on the harder holes, it's it's a big jump, I think. Uh, and then, yeah, like you said, you got to make a lot of birdies. You know, a lot of holes are birdieable, but it's not the end of the world if you don't. And uh, you just kind of keep plotting around and, you know, hopefully – you play this golf course more and more, you get more comfortable on certain things. So that's kind of what I'm going about. You surprised to be where you are as a first timer on this weird course? I mean, I don't know. Not, I don't know if I'm surprised. I was just kind of pretty comfortable today, and I know my game's really good. Um, obviously, made a putter change, which has been a, a big help uh, as far as confidence. You know, I kind of went into the week with no judgment attitude on it, and uh, so far it's been feeling really good. And I'm excited to see how I feel, you know, with the lead or with, uh, you know, expectations that I have on myself of winning tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to it. Will this be the first week that you've putted entirely with the long putter? Yeah, okay. full week. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, maybe I'll change tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. That would be interesting. But, uh, yeah, first full week. I, I used it three rounds at RSM, and then I used it one round at Fortinet. Okay. Was it uh, just seeing the guys like Lucas going to that? Like, what spurred uh, the change? I mean, statistically, my putting has not been good, and I think stats can be a little skewed sometimes, but, um, you know, it's just something we sat down and talked about. Uh, my mental coach, my putting coach, my, my swing coach, you know, everyone was kind of involved in what decision I needed to make, and um, for me, the speed's just a lot easier. Longer putts is kind of feels a little more free. I'm not thinking as much. I'm just kind of visualizing and then hitting, uh, and it just it's a lot uh, more freeing, and it's uh, yeah, it's fun just kind of working with it. And I told my coach this week, like putting in the wind, it's going to be a different challenge with this putter. So, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. What does a no judgment approach look like, or how is it different than maybe you were approaching things before? Uh, just not result oriented. If I make a lot of putts or if I miss a lot of putts, it's not you know I'm not judging, you know the the putter specifically. Um, so, that's just kind of how I've been, you know and. I'm seeing the ball go in a lot more than I have, so it's nice that uh, it's kind of going this direction. Actually, you're one of the few guys who have gone from the high of winning to getting bad news within like five minutes from from when you won. How long did it take you to kind of move past that, and did it change at all your outlook for what you wanted to do this year in terms of signature events and all that stuff? I mean, <laughs> it's hard because... I don't know if I'm fully over it, you know. Like, I feel like I deserve to be in the playoffs. I feel like I deserve to have an opportunity to get into the signature events and have a different year kind of looking at the schedule, right, because it's hard to pick and choose. Like, I'm about to play seven weeks in a row just to try and qualify for AT&T and then hopefully Riviera. Um, so it's hard because that's not what you want to do. You don't want to play seven weeks in a row starting the year. But it's just what I have to do. And... um you know, it's unfortunate how the roles kind of shaped out, but, you know, hopefully I'm sure that, that'll change eventually for, for guys that are in my position. Uh, probably this year. Yeah, probably. But, it's you know, it's all good. I'm just I'm going to try and do my best. You know, I have plenty of opportunities to still get there, and it's going to be a long season. So whether I get into the first two signature events or I don't, it doesn't really affect me because I can still play my way in. So that's at least nice that I have the opportunity. What's an ideal number of tournaments for you to play this year? I don't know. I love playing. I don't, I don't know how, you know, I was talking to Sahit today. I don't know how guys play 17, 18 events a year. Uh, I know they've done it for a long time, but I just, I mean, I played all the fall events. I played as much as I could. Uh, but ideally, you know, it's you play, I guess 20 to 25 events would be ideal. I think I played around that last year, and that was that was kind of nice. But I might have to play more. I don't know. Is this good content for YouTube? 
I don't know. I hope so. I mean, I, I'd love to. Uh, I wish I could do a little more filming out here, but, you know, it's it's fun doing that stuff and uh, kind of changing people's perspective on tour golf, like what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. And, you know, some guys are really private about it, but I, I love kind of sh showing my story, and it's really fun. Sleeping on a lead, is your cousin filming, or do you have him film tomorrow, or do you tell him to back off? No, or? he's not here this okay. week. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'll call him tonight. We'll chat and, you know, think of ideas for, for future events and see how it goes. And what was the, from a creativity standpoint, what was the shot that maybe was the most fun to hit today? Oh, man. I think nine's always interesting. You know, we've played it downwind into the wind. Today I hit, like, this pretty low three-wood, kind of chased it up, almost got it on the green, uh, which was a nice kind of cool shot to hit but there's so many cool shots you're just in so many low cuts for me at least uh 18 is obviously sweet you're hitting just you know it's carrying 290 and it's going 420 i mean saw hit it probably 450 today so it's it's cool hitting these shots and feeling free you know you don't have to hit it into a 20 yard fairway yeah. cool thank you sweet. thank you thanks